What's good? What's good? This is not parody. And I am not a CIA puppet. I'm quite, quite amused by those two sentences and the genesis of them, which I will now tell you. Some person, Rocco something or other, commented on one of my recent videos. I still can't tell if this is parody. And I have never seen this person comment. I don't know who they are. Um, so I don't know what else they've seen that would make them think that it's parody. But dear good sir or madam, this is not parody. I am just... Uh, a very passionate person. The word unhinged has been used a lot, and I see the left and the right use it against each other, and it's really, really kind of sad because it is a sort of thought-terminating cliche. Was it Eric Weinstein that kind of coined that term? I don't remember. Someone did. But it's it's this 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 sentence, this expression that sort of just stops any possibility of productive conversation. Because when you call someone unhinged, that's essentially you're calling them crazy. You're calling them mentally challenged. You're not, you're telling them that you do not take them seriously. And I often will say things, my trickster side of me gets a notion, hey, I need to jab this person, I need to poke this person. But I always try to do it strategically. And I've never called anyone unhinged that I can recollect. I may have called them retarded. I use that one, or dumb, or useful idiot, which also are, could be thought terminating cliches. And it's not productive in trying to build communication with people. And I acknowledge that I'm trying to be better. We're all just humans. And I, 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 I'm a human. I, oh, let's talk about the CIA thing. Just having an Instagram back and forth with someone. They commented to someone else, you should read Gramsci and understand the concept of cultural hegemony so that you can understand how the fascist United States maintains its power. And I kind of agree with that. Here's the thing. I kind of agree with some of the freaking leftists like Gramsci when he talks about the cultural hegemony and how it does maintain its power structure and incentivize others to participate in said power structure through hedonism, through blackmail, the matrix it could be called. Yes, Gramsci's cultural hegemony could also be considered the matrix. There is such an interchangeability or fungibility to a lot of these concepts and terms. Concepts. They are not rigid things. They are amorphous, sort of nebulous. Concepts can grow and evolve and they shape and they shift. And so when I say fascism, authoritarianism, uh, those are interchangeable. They're fungible. So anyways, I, I replied to that person's comment and I had said, or to the person they were talking to, to read Gramsci, I said, yes, read Gramsci, but don't become a commie. Um, just like you should read Karl Marx, but don't become a commie. And then this person sort of back and forth, um, you know, kind of criticized me, like, oh, someone knows how to read, or something like that. And then I said something, I was like, yeah, I do know how to read, it's pretty wild. And they said, you should use that skill to stop reading CIA, no, reactionary, specifically reactionary CIA propaganda. And anyone who uses the word reactionary, because that's sort of, it's, it's, it's a historical term from the earlier uh, leftist, collectivist, socialist, communist movements of like Lenin and Stalin, uh, the people who were resisting the Bolsheviks, I believe, were called the reactionaries. He defined reactionary as um, anyone who opposes revolution, which if that's the true definition, I'm not a reactionary because I fucking support revolution. Let's bring this bitch on. 
watch my last video where I talk about how we need to deal with these criminals. So I am not a reactionary. But I had, you know, commented back, you know, anyone who uses the term reactionary should probably analyze their own critical thinking and stop reading the collectivist propaganda. And I said, so check may, or check, draw, unless you want to continue having a conversation on my YouTube channel. Because I'm always trying to invite people to have conversations. But his response, no. He said, I'm not going to talk to a CIA puppet. I'm a C he has likely never seen any of my videos. He probably at that point hadn't even looked at my Instagram page. So all he knows is that I said, don't be a commie. And he thinks I'm a CIA puppet. Or that's his like attempt at an ad hominem. Which is really freaking hilarious. Because uh, my life would be a lot better if I was a CIA puppet. David Pakman. That's the CIA puppet. Allegedly, I, I believe, I'm not stating a fact. Not stating a fact, I'm stating a belief. Don't sue me, D don't sue me. If I could snap my fingers and get rid of the CIA, I absolutely would. Which is exactly what a CIA puppet would say. <laughs> oh boy, I, I find a lot of humor in that. But it's pretty cowardly. And then I was having another, like the leftists are getting a little agitated. They're getting a little disgruntled. They're because they're they're talking more and they're and they're getting angrier. I had another Instagram interaction, another leftist who, you know, always they like to say this is late stage capitalism. And I was like, actually, honey, this is just fascism. And they replied. That's just what late stage capitalism is, is fascism. They said the height of capitalism is fascism. And I, and, I, and I rebutted and I said, actually, no, the height of capitalism is a stateless society. The height of imperialism is fascism. Because if the British Empire was able to conquer the whole world, you know they'd try to keep it. You know they would try to control it, just like they still try to do. Imperialism is alive and well, friends. And we're fighting it. Lock step in with fascism. It's all one big mess of authoritarianism, which at the root is government, which at the root is state. That is the common denominator amongst all of these oppressive ideologies and political philosophies. It is the state. And yet these stupid, fucking, retarded, useful, idiot, leftists. I like how in the beginning of the video I said I need to be better and then I just said all of that. I'm trying to work on my anger. It's, I'm trying, but you guys make it difficult. Because I just want to have a conversation with you. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. Let's collect myself. My bosses are watching. <laughs> Oh man, no, uh, if I was in the C I would, anyone who watches this channel can tell that I am not in the CIA. I find it very comical though. What was the title of this video? I already forgot. I'll watch it, whatever. I'm going to end it there. Thank you for watching. This is not parody. I am not in the CIA. I'm just an acid-dropping hippie that wants to love on the planet and his community. But these damn globalists are making that difficult by devaluing our currency and by increasing the rules and regulations for how we are to live and interact with one another. They are the ones who are manipulating material conditions, you Marxist people. See? Improvement. All right. I'm going to end it there. Much love, y'all.